Hello guys, Bob here. We're back for some more Dishonored. I'm not sure what part this is going to be now. Uh, quite a bit, quite a few parts now I think we're on. <laughs> and kind of get up there. Yep. Well, we've finished now, uh, we've finished the missions here pretty much. We killed the two Pendleton brothers. Uh, this is mission two. And we're just heading back out. We've rescued Emily. Hopefully there's not going to be any, uh, there's not going to be any confusion or any complications. Let's see what we've got. There's a towel there, guard there. Um, I'll write to her again. She has to see reason. Let's have a look around here. We've got a prowler on the loose. They keep saying they've got they've got a prowler on the loose, but they don't. They kind of they don't get activated if you like. So I'm not quite sure if they just generally think there's a prowler, or if they're hearing me. I'm really not sure. Tell me again what you'll do with Slag John's Battle Street Boys job. You always assume. Huh? Oh, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Don't want, don't, want, don't want to act. We don't want to activate the tower there, do we? That would be a bad idea. Well, <laughs> I spent an awful lot of time with that guy looking that way. So we'll just, oh, we'll, uh, we won't do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm assuming that I um, accidentally jumped up on some spikes there. I'm not sure I've made short work. <laughs> I'm not sure our viewers would uh, <laughs> would, it, would say that. Right, overall, overall chaos low. Hostiles killed five. Civilians killed one. Oh, did I kill, really kill a civilian? Dead or unconscious bodies found five. Well, that wasn't that wasn't. It was an improvement on the last mission, I think, but not particularly brilliant. I only found one rune, although I wasn't really taking the time to look. We did find some paintings. Um, we steamed to Pendleton to death. Special actions. <laughs> we helped Slackjaw. Okay, let's go back. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, my dear, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. <laughs> oh, I should concentrate on my <laughs> Oh, look, we've got a little, uh, welcoming party. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes. Ah, oh, that's going to be her room. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista Corvo. I'll see you later. 
Cool. Okay, so we've rescued Emily. Awesome. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you change the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. Yeah, but I have to say, I'm not convinced by him. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Yeah, I don't trust old Pendlebum. I think he's a... Uh I think he's going to turn out to be as rotten as his brothers. But we'll uh, give him the benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah, some things you seem to be able to jump on, some not. Oh, he's in uh, reflective mood, obviously. Old Pendleton. Oh, I can kill him. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be a good thing, would it? <laughs> Let's put my knife away. I'm not sure that would that would sort of change things. I imagine. I'm not quite sure why uh, I've got that option. Corvo, the loyalist conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Okay. Let's go and see what Havelock wants. Let's put my weapons away. I don't know why I've got bloody weapons out. Lydia. It's Lydia. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Okay. Samuel can get you close to the bridge. But you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. Okay. We've got our next mission. Paul Samuel's boat. Now, I'm... Um I guess quite a bit of refreshing change not to have to go and kill someone, I guess. It's, uh, the first two missions have been assassin ones, so maybe this will be a bit different. Although I have to say, I, my heart, whenever I play a game, <coughs> I'm trying to think of a, a game that maybe where it's been done well. But whenever I play a game where it says go and rescue someone and see them back safely, I always yeah, I think to myself, oh god, escort missions, you know, which <laughs> which are never good in games, I've found. I'm sure I must have played some before that, that were okay. But my heart does sink when when, you, when it talks about sort of escorting someone. It was that like when when Emily was saying, you know, escort me and fight anyone that uh, tries to stop us. I was thinking, oh god. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, guys, this has been a short video. This one, but I think I will end it here, and we'll start a new video fresh on the next mission. Uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, I'll leave you with a lovely sunset over Dunwall, and I'll speak to you again soon.